It's great to have friends, but there was one amongst them who I'd met a long way back who'd got me a job and introduced me to my wife. So I considered he was a good friend. But as time went on, I started to pick up with a company he was keeping, which I didn't like. And in the course of time, he ends up with a broken jaw, he got punched in the face, got held up and robbed at gunpoint, and then done a spell in prison. And then when he came out, he's took on with even more dubious company, so I've distanced myself now. But because he fixed motors and bought second-hand ones and sold them, I just interact with him, even though he's like half an hour down the road, just to do a deal with a car every now and then. And then my car went wrong, and it failed the MOT, so I phoned Roy, and I'll make this as short as possible, and I said, could you sell my car? He said, yeah, I can get an MOT in it. I'll get my brother-in-law to come and pick it up with his tow truck. And then we sell it. I'll take a cup for selling it and I'll give you the rest. I said, yeah, as quick as you can, need the money. So his brother-in-law turns up, we well, don't like the look of with Roy. They take my car away. And then two weeks later, he's nearly got a buyer. And then another two weeks later, same story. And then a week later, still the same story. I said to him, I'm coming to get my car. He went, oh, no, don't care. I've got a guy really interested. I said, that's not worth anything, is it? I said, I'll come and get the car. But I, I said, I'll, I'll, I'll have to find a day in the week. I've got indoors and I thought, I'm going to do it now. He don't know I'm coming, does he? So I've got my mate Liz. He's come with me. I said, when we get there, if you can just t t drive my car back and I'll be in, my, in the other car with a tow rope and, you know, that's all I need you for. Les. He said, no, 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 that's sweet, girl. I said, oh, thanks a lot. And there's a mate. And then when we get down, Roy's, I arrive at the door, and he's so shocked, you can just see it. I said, not a problem, Roy. Just give me the keys to my car and show me where it is, and I'll take it. And he said, I've sold it, Kev. I went, oh, happy days. Give me the money. He said, oh, no, I've done a deal with a guy. He's going to pay me weekly. I said, have you? I said, well, that's no good to me, is it? I said, and, and, and asked, what's it, was it giving you, a pound a week or something? He said, no, I've got his family allowance book, haven't I? And I said, no, I'm cashing that in at the post office every week. I said, well, there's so many things that are wrong with that, I, I don't want to talk about it. I said, give me his address. I'll go round there. And the guy's a real nice guy, and he don't know what's took place. I said, just give me the keys from my car. I said, if you parted with money, let go and see why. He said, well, I, someone else has got the car now. I said, why is that? He said, well, I fell out my wife over the family allowance payments, so she's made me pass it on so this other guy's got it I said you got his address he said yeah he said you don't want to go around there the guy's a real animal I said I can't wait to see him where's he live we go we go around there no car no one's in I'll go straight back to Roy's when I get in there in his front room and I'd always said to Les whatever happens don't get involved right you could be a spectator but you know I don't know where this is leading when we're in the living room there's four big guys here with their backs up against the wall, just standing there looking a bit threatening. I said to Roy, what's this thing? What, we got an audience? Who are these? He said, they're just friends of mine. I said, well, just come to watch. He went, well, yeah. I said, ah, well. I said, I'll tell you what, this is a story, right? He said, no, don't worry, Kev. I'm going. I said, no, 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 I don't want to hear any more. I said, I'm going home now without my car, without the money. But I leave home, what, quarter past seven in the morning, and I'll get home about half past four. So during that time, if my car isn't on the drive or you haven't put the money through my letterbox while I'm not there, I said, you'll be seeing me again when your mates are not there. Your choice. Anyhow, see you later. So we went. I'll get up in the morning to go to work, have a shower, have me breakfast, get me gear on. Just go to head out the door. What was it, about 20 past seven? And there's an envelope on the carpet with my money in it. I don't know when he bought that round. Maybe it's three o'clock in the morning. But there's a lesson learned. And that's the end of a relationship with someone I shouldn't have been friends with in the first place. See you later. If you like listening to what I've got to say, do me a favour. Subscribe, but don't forget to ring the bell. Otherwise, you won't get notifications when I've got a new video out. You can see me then. Bye now.